hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And we're back with some more battles with the uh, Drapion team. I don't really have a name for this team. But I'm really liking the Drapion on it. Hey, we're up to Ultra Ball. That's cool, right? So let's see if we can take Drapion to Master Ball. That might happen in this episode, I don't know. We shall see. Yes, yeah, so we've got Drapion, the Lucario that we haven't really used, which is really what I designed this team around. I haven't used it. I haven't found a good place to use it, and this doesn't look too promising either. Uh, so we got Grimsnarl, Rotom Heat, Mimikyu, Gyarados, Snorlax, and Corviknight. I think I want the Drapion for sure. I mean, Toxic Spikes isn't good against half the things, but I would, I wouldn't mind like knocking off Corviknight's stuff and or Gyarados's item. Uh, what else do I want, though? I think we need the Rotom for the Corviknight. And then... Yeah, we need an answer to Mimikyu. I mean, my Dragapult can kind of answer Mimikyu. As long as things are kind of timed right now. You know what? We'll bring Dragapult. Tough decisions here. But yeah, Lucario, I didn't see Lucario doing too much in this battle. Because it, do it doesn't get too many super effective hits against this crew. And there's a Grimmsnarl. I kind of expected a Grimmsnarl lead, so you know what? We're going to go for the taunt. I know it has Prankster. It's probably going to get one of its screens set up. But it's, it, it'll be good. Because then it'll have to go for an attack, and it's not, it's not going to do too well on the attack. No, we're withdrawing already. What's this going to be? Corviknight. They do have the Corviknight. Okay, well now Corviknight's taunted. You know, I'm okay with that as well. Oh, uh, Corviknight does not have a ground attack. Let's just get rid of its item. Now I don't need to retreat from a Corviknight. At least not yet. Okay, item is gone. It was a... Oh, a Rocky Helmet. We still took Rocky Helmet damage. Because the knockoff doesn't happen until, you know, after the combat related stuff. So, knockoff does still trigger weakness policy before being able to knock off the weakness policy. So, they would get the weakness policy boost if I was hitting something that was uh, weak to dark and they had a weakness policy. Okay, but that body press didn't do too much, so we're kind of free to set up some toxic spikes, which. I'm like, well, it's going to be good against this Grimmsnarl when it switches back in, but it's already switching back in. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I could go for another taunt, but I think I'm just going to go Poison Jab. Let's see what the Grimmsnarl is. I really just don't want to be paralyzed. That's why I went for the taunt the first time. It seems like this Drapion is giving my opponent some issues. There's a Reflect. Okay. Yeah, it did a little damage. Hey, we got Poison on it. Well, so much for needing the Toxic Spikes. And again, I don't know what their third Pokemon is yet. 
hasn't been revealed to me. They they don't know what uh, she is a female trainer here. At least that that it's playing a female trainer. A female trainer over there does not necessarily mean female in real life. Again, male trainers don't necessarily mean female in real life. I could I mean my character is a male trainer. I could be female. I'm probably not though. All right, let's switch this up. I'd like to know what your third Pokemon is, but given the situation right now, and given that two other Pokemon on her team are immune to Toxic Spikes, I'm not going to put down the second layer of Toxic Spikes. It doesn't seem that useful yet. Alright, so let's get Rotom out here. Hi there. Body press. That's that's not <laughs> Oh, I like this. I like this team. I like this Drapion. This Drapion is just doing so much work. And now the other part that I really like about Rotom and Dragapult is Volt Switch in U-Turn, it gives me the momentum. It really just helps me set up. I feel it goes great with my playstyle. I was talking about this last time. Look at that. So they switched the Grim Snarl back in. I could reveal my Dragapult right now. But I don't really have a reason to. They took Volt Switch damage. They're going to take some Poison damage here at the end of the turn. Oh, we're going to get a... Uh, Recovery with Black Sludge there. And if this stays in, Poison Jab will just knock it out. No, you're not staying in. Oh, okay, you're bringing out the... Okay, so you got a free switch there. Which I'm also fine with that. That still gives me another... Uh, Black Sludge Recovery, and I can get Taunt. Okay, and Corviknight was going for a Taunt. <laughs> yeah, you're not faster than me, and my only other non-damaging move on this Drapion is the uh, Toxic Spice, which I don't feel the need to set up a second lair right now. I want to know what your third Pokemon is before I start sending out Dragapult. Now, here, I was mentioning last time the idea of maybe taking Hex off of Rotom. And this is the perfect example. I don't really want to Volt Switch, but I want to hit him with an Electric Attack. But I want my Rotom to stay in. You see? And Hex wouldn't have been getting the job done. I didn't want to go for the Will-O-Wisp there in case they did switch to that, but clearly... Our opponent here is taking my general advice of don't go through the same cycle twice and expect the same thing. But since they were staying in, I'm like, well, I'll go to Dragapult because we're immune to body press. Do I go for a Phantom Force? Do I go for a... Yeah, I'm going to go for a U-turn. Probably expecting a special attacking Dragapult. Like I said, most people are. And we'll get this out of here. Okay, well, our opponent knows our full team. And I don't know theirs. I'm going to lead... I'm going to send out the Rotom. You're either going to have to send out the Corviknight and let it die to the Rotom, or show me your third Pokemon. Show it to me. Come on. Mimikyu. Uh, I would rather burn the Mimikyu than poison it. Okay. Um, I kind of want this Rotom alive. Doesn't necessarily need to be. We'll Volt Switch here. Metal Break Disguise. Now, 
I think I go into Drapion here. Because Drapion is, is pretty sackable at this point. And if the Drapion, if, if for whatever reason, would live, we just go for... Yeah, we're getting that poison damage. This poison damage is important, by the way. Because uh, remember, I was talking about how Dragapult was nearly missing some kills. Dynamaxing. I love this. The reason why I love this is now this Mimikyu does not have access to Shadow Sneak. And my Dragapult's going to be faster because it's a Dragapult. Max Starfall. Even if this kills, I'm fine with that. Yeah, that's going to kill. <laughs> Okay, Fairy Terrain is up. That's fine. I'm not using Dragon-type attacks here. And yeah, we get that nice chip damage with the poison. And I've been mentioning this before, that that sort of thing is would be helpful for Dragapult, because how many kills have we done massive damage to a Pokemon that was at, like, full health, but just didn't quite kill it? I'm liking how this team is starting to come together, but I do think that I, I need to make some more changes. You'll see more after the uh, next battles we get into. I'll talk about that a little bit more, maybe a little bit preemptively, because I won't have a ton of time after the battles to talk about it. So yeah, I'm going to Dynamax here because I don't want to go for Phantom Force because they could Max Guard and then they would... Uh, yeah, see, there's the Max Guard then they would be out of Dynamax turns, and then they could start going for Shadow Sneak on me again. I, I don't want that. You are going to take more poison damage, though, which I'm fine with. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for Max Steel Spikes. If you want to switch, that's fine. Not switching. Okay. Perfect. Low enough where I felt comfortable doing that, and we get a defense boost to take on the... Corviknight, who is also very weakened and should just die to a single um, Max Phantasm. So yeah, I love how this team pulled it together, and I also like the Volt Switch U-Turn stuff, where we can get some chip damage on some things, so then Dragapult can come in later and clean things up. Battle was cancelled, yeah, they, they knew they had no chance. She knew. All right. So let's get into... Let's find another battle here. Come on, find another battle. Oh, a PP up. I will take those. I should probably use that on... something. What needs PP up on my team right now? I don't, I don't know. We'll switch over to Marnie's theme. Now let's see, we've got Leafeon, Umbreon, Heliolisk, Mamoswine, Mimikyu, Torkoal. This is a really unique team. I don't know what to do against it. I kind of want to bring Lucario here because I feel like if I get a nasty plot off Nasty Plot and the, um, and Vacuum Wave would be really good against, like, the Mimikyu, not the Mimikyu, uh, the Heliolisk and the Mamoswine and the, uh, the Dark Thing, Umbreon. <laughs> uh, and I guess I go with the... Oh, and nothing, nothing likes Toxic Spikes on here, so obviously we're gonna bring, we're gonna bring the Drapion. Torkoal. Okay. That is certainly a possible lead. Uh, what's Torkoal going to do to me? Let's knock off something. 
Again, I'm I'm kind of like I'm used to the seeing oh a jet pack, okay. Stealth rocks. I could have went for taunt there. I'm used to seeing like choice specs torkles in doubles when because I watch I watch some uh, other YouTubers do doubles content. Who do, who do primarily doubles content. Um, actually, I should go ahead and name the YouTuber. Give him a name drop. It's That's a Plus One. Uh, competitive videos that I just started watching. And th that's the channel I watched. Great guy to watch. Um, but he does primarily doubles. He was doing some singles, like, very early on. That... Wow. We took that attack very well. And so it was his videos that I was watching, which got me back into competitive Pokemon battling, which I did not think I would be here doing this. I did not think I would be getting a Switch to get Pokemon Shield. Uh, but that is exactly what ended up happening, because I like the way that that this battles, these metagames work, uh, looked. Yawn. Well, that's a problem. I really should have used Taunt. So, yeah, I'm used to seeing Torkoals with uh, Choice Specs, Eruption, and then you have, like, Trick Room to make them act first and just obliterate things, and, and Solar Beam. I'm not used to Torkoals with Stealth Rocks and Yawn. So we're gonna swap. We can we can worry about the other toxic spikes later. Did I get two layers down? I was I was talking about that's a plus one there. But we're gonna get Rotom out. Nothing I have really mines the stealth rocks, so it's it's okay. I mean, yeah, it's chip damage. Oh. Well that's bad. Okay, then. Well, we're gonna go... I mean, this thing has grass attacks. We resist grass. We, sh we should be able to take a hit from this. I wasn't gonna stay in there because that Leafeon would be faster than my Rotom, and bad things would happen. We're Dynamaxing with this Leafeon. That should be okay. Keyword is should be. Max Overgrowth, okay. And we did not take that well at all. That is really bad. Uh, so yeah, this is this is not going to this is not going to go our way, is it? I was not expecting to take that much damage. Now we've got the grassy terrain, which is adding basically leftovers recovery to everything. Uh, you know what? We're gonna tag into Drapion here because we resist grass. Although grass type moves are also being powered up now thanks to the grassy terrain, but it it should be fine. Because we resist this. Not well enough. Dang. You know, when I saw this person's team, I was not thinking, okay, this Leafeon is going to wreck my team. I'm kind of wishing I had Dragapult right now. Because I could go Dragapult and, and the max bug move. Man, this really bugs me. U-turn would have been great. U-turn would have been great here with the Leafeon and Umbreon. Should brought the Dragapult. I just don't want to get into the habit of being like, oh hey, let's just bring Dragapult every time because it's so good. And maybe I should be doing that. At least most of the time. I might not be having this particular issue right now. Yeah, we're not going to survive this. I didn't even bother Dynamaxing because I, 
it would not have mattered. I do not think it would have mattered. Maybe would have would have survived, but I... no. Uh, Lucario, can you come fix my problems? Man, if I was still at full health here, I could go for like the nasty plot. But I gotta go. I got Dynamax here. Oh, you're withdrawing. If I had known you were withdrawing, I would have went for Nasty Plot. Back to the Torkoal. Oh, this is bad. I mean, it brings the sunlight back up. I'm not... That's not the concerning part here. The concerning part is you have a Torkoal. Now I'm using Max Steel Spikes on it. I was thinking like he's going to stay in with the Leafeon, I need to get a defense boost, and maybe with a defense boost Lucario can survive a, another hit. I guess the good news is he doesn't really know if this Lucario is special or physical yet. I don't think it's going to matter though. Well, maybe it'll, uh, we just we just got to knock this thing out. And that grass, grassy terrain recovery was key there. So we will actually do more damage with max darkness. So we're going to go for the max darkness. And we're going to be just short of the kill. Oh, that's very saddening. And overheat kills us. I don't even know what his third Pokemon was. Uh, yeah, I was not expecting to get wrecked by by Torkoal Leafeon. Dang. All right, so yeah, so one of the things I'm considering is maybe to switching Lucario out. Because that was the first time we brought Lucario, and I'm like, it's Lucario, it's your chance to shine. Here you go, buddy. And it, it, it did not. I didn't expect him to pull back through at the end of that. It, it, but if there was a time for him to shine, that would have been it. Okay, we have Duraludon, Conkelder, uh, Colossal, Pokemon I'm familiar with, Mimikyu... Hydreigon and Gyarados. Okay, so we've got three things that are immune to toxic spikes. And the Conkelder that probably does not. They probably has guts and would love to switch into toxic spikes. But then we have Mimikyu as well. I'm, I'm going to bring Drapion. Because I'm betting he's going to lead with the... I was looking at his leads, and that's why I'm picking Drapion for the lead. Because I'm like, he's going to lead with the uh, the Duraludon. That's like the only real-looking lead on that team. What else do I want, though? Oh, this team is really throwing me off. The Conkelder especially. Or the way I like to pronounce him, though, is Conkelder. Get that durr at the end. Uh, anyways, I'm bringing Clefable because that seems like it'll be good against large portions of the team. Seems like it. Uh, so actually, I said I was going to start discussing possible changes. So one of the changes, I will be changing out the Clefable. I feel like it's not... Like sometimes it feels like it's very decently bulky. And sometimes it just doesn't. And this is going to be one of those battles where it doesn't. I'm going to go for Taunt here. We have a higher base speed. Okay, we got we got the Taunt off. Because I don't think I really care if this thing attacks me. It can't stealth rock. Okay, so this thing does not have speed investments. I'm going to knock off whatever its item is now. Uh, remember, this is a Calm Nature Drapion, max special defense. Focus Sash, okay. 
There's flash cans. So I'm gonna switch the, for sure I'm gonna switch the Clefable out for a Wish Protect uh, Sylveon. And so what that's gonna do is that's going to give me, that's gonna give this team some wish support. So some things can get healing that normally can't get healing with uh, Sylveon's wish. And I still maintain the fairy type that I want to, and it's also defensive. And the protect will also pair well nicely with the toxic spikes, help me stall out our opponents, get more of that chip damage going. So I feel like that, I feel like a Sylveon is gonna fit right in. And also, Sylveon is pretty decently bulky as well. Um, you're going to see we're going to have issues with the Conkeldar. We're, we're going to have issues. Our taunt was gone, so I reestablished that. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I needed. I wanted to bring something else in, but I didn't want him getting rocks up. I don't know why. So we're going to bring out Clefable. And I'm going to go for the Dynamax here. I probably shouldn't be Dynamaxing. But I also feel like if I don't Dynamax, this thing might knock me out. And he might outspeed me. Because we don't have much speed invested in this thing. As using, you know, Flash Cannon. Uh, so yeah, I can... I can use the Sylveon to pass wishes to, like, Gyarados, or Dragapult, or Rotom, or Drapion, all of which don't have their own recovery moves. And I feel like it's going to be a great support Pokemon. Okay, so it did stay in, it did go for the attack, and we took care of it. But now we spread Misty Terrain. Yeah, Misty Terrain. Which means the toxic spikes we set aren't going to do anything. Because Pokemon cannot receive status effects while Misty Terrain is up. I didn't quite think that one through. Maybe I should have went for the Moonblast. I don't know if... Uh, I don't know about that one. I don't think I brought a good three to this. There's the Mimikyu. I mean, we would have survived if we had just not Dynamaxed, but... Okay, what do I want here? Do I want a terrain? I don't... I don't know that I want a terrain. There's a Swords Dance. This is... this is not going to go well. We gotta break that disguise. So I'm thinking of making that change. I'm thinking of possibly making the Gyarados into a Assault Vest Gyarados, which would also really like the getting past wishes from Sylveon. Uh, and that would let it come in repeatedly on physical attackers. And I think they would make a nice complement to each other. And for a fourth move, I don't know what I could give Gyarados for a fourth move. Maybe Bounce? Um, because even if I'm not Dynamaxing with it, yeah, we're we're in trouble here. Because even if I'm not Dynamaxing with the Gyarados, I could um, I could go for yeah, I could use Bounce to also help stall and rack up Toxic Spikes damage. That's what that's what I was trying to think of there. Uh, another option I was considering is if I don't give the Assault Vest to Gyarados, maybe replace Lucario with something else and give that thing the Assault Vest. I was looking at Gudra as an option. The issue I have with that is I would have two dragons. The whole um, Dragapult being physical or special wouldn't be too much, would be much less of a question, much less of a surprise to our opponents. Uh, when they see a Gudra, which is, um, you know, it's, it'd be a special attacker. Um, I, want, I want a special attacker in that slot. Yeah, and there's, there's why I want Discharge. Another reason I want Discharge again. Taking extra damage from any key. Discharge and probably killed it. I didn't want to miss a Hydro Pump. And I thought, you know, hey, it'll be super effective. 
And then we have... And here we have the Toxic Spikes kicking in, so that means Guts Boosted just happened. Oh, well, this match is a lot... A little bit closer than what I remembered it. I, I thought I got, like, dominated by everything, but no, we still took out uh, two of their Pokemon. But our opponent has still been ahead of us uh, basically the whole time. And this is going to end me. So I was thinking of maybe Gudra in that slot, or maybe keeping the Lucario since, you know, that was kind of the idea behind this team and behind having the Gyarados to begin with, is that Gyarados covers all of Lucario's weaknesses. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section or over on the Facebook page. Uh, what sorts of team changes you think I should make to this. Um, but Sylveon's definitely going to be going in place of Clefable. And I don't know what I'm going to do. The other two slots that are up in the air is the Gyarados and the Lucario slot. If they're going to stay, if something's going to get an Assault Vest, and what that's going to be. So I'll work on that, and I'll see you guys next time.